Friday, November 18th, 2022. Today on The Daily Review, we discuss the new film from Jonah Hill. Kind of a documentary thing called Stutz with your host, me, Professor Joe LaRocca. It is currently on Netflix. Whoa, where are you going, microphone? Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. So at first, this seems like a little bit self-serving and a little bit egotistical, but as it goes on, it actually it might actually be the opposite of that. Now I I'm sure there's a whole group of people who will just not like this movie for some for for a lot of reasons, but um hopefully people can get in, into it and take some of the valuable messages it has away with them. I do not think it is an ego project, especially by the end. Uh what is it what it's it's about is Jonah Hill documentary style recording um, an intimate psychology session with his psychologist Phil Stutz, who is a seventy mid seventy year old man who has Parkinson's, um, which gives him a great deal of perspective on top of just being clearly a smart, in tune person uh, and a good therapist. But um, after about thirty minutes or so, it kind of becomes meta and 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 shows its hand the movie shows its hand on what it's doing um and as to make sure that it is not manipulating you because that would be really counterintuitive and film is so manipulative as it is and the point of this really as stated right in the beginning by Jonah Hill is that he learned so much from this guy he learned these tools uh that he thinks should be available to everybody it's like a pretty noble thing he's like if I make a movie and put it on Netflix there's a chance People will watch it, and we can help spread uh, the. Me- not, not, I don't want to say the message of Phil Stutz. It's just like he just because that makes him sound like a cult leader or something. Like no, he just has developed some cognitive tools to help com- fight your own brain. You know, because that's that's the real war is like tricking one's own brain into being the way you want it to be. Um, and he has a really interesting visual method, which works well for a movie where he d- draws in like little archaic note card visual kind of <laughs> cartoon cells to like really synthesize the entire idea into like one simple pictogram kind of thing which I think is really smart and certainly connects with me in terms of me being a visual learner certainly wish the therapists I've had in my life were more aggressive like this more like shut just shut up and do this like that's what I want a therapist to say instead of just listening and saying, isn't life a paradox, or, or, you're right, you know, <laughs> you know, or like, that was, that was like one therapist I had for a long time, it's just like, oh, everything would always come down to like everything being a paradox, which is like, imagine if you could, like, and I like that guy, he was good, he helped me and stuff, but like, imagine if in your job, you could just be like, it's a paradox, which is, in case you don't know, I mean, it's both things, you know, everything's kind of double-edged, um, and I would have rather have had him be like, listen, Shut the fuck up. Do this every day. I promise you it'll work. You know, like that's what I wanted. And I know most therapists don't do that, you know, cause for legal reasons and because a lot of therapists don't believe that's the way to do it, right? You know, and I, I just think that, and that's why you have to kind of like, that's why therapy can be very hard because you have to like find somebody who matches with you, um, with your style without it being a little like, uh, yeah, because you you know, it can be, it can get dangerous, you know, um, you know, if you tell somebody to do something and then it doesn't work out or it makes things worse, then they come back to you and go, you know. Um, so I get it. I get the whole thing. But I took a lot of like kind of how I mean, there were points where I was like, OK, why are we doing this again? Um, because ultimately what Jonah Hill wants to do is make a movie about his therapist too, like about his background, why, how he developed these ideas. And that was kind of the main thrust. So like learn about this guy and his methods and maybe it can help you. Noble effort. But then of course it's a therapy session. It's going to become about Jonah himself. Like that's impossible for it not to. And then it's whether he's going to decide to let that into the movie. And that's where he kind of opens the door to what the movie is, which I thought was just like a narratively an interesting idea. So on top of the fact that I just happen to agree with some of the philosophies, you know, some of it's a little hippy dippy new age stuff, but I, 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 you know, I can't 100% say for sure, but it does seem like 
a lot of these methods would probably help people if they could really buy into them in terms of, um, you know, uh, helping with your self-consciousness and your self-confidence, I really meant, excuse me, and your insecurities and stuff, which everybody has. You know, and, it, and it's good that it's Jonah Hill because, you know, he's like an A-list actor. Like, he's done, he's done it all. Everybody knows him. He's directed. He's been in comedies, been in serious movies. And to think that he had, like, crippling insecurities because of his weight issues and the way he looked when he was younger and stuff, and that how, how even once he made it to the top, none of that stuff went away, which I've always found fascinating and always been like, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's so sad. I mean, that, like, uh, you know, you you can get to the mountaintop, but it, the atmosphere is not going to burn away all of your problems. You carried them all the way up the hill with you, and they're still there. Um, hey, I should be a therapist. Anyway... Uh, yeah, I, I would say watch it. Uh, I would say watch it, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, some people just like don't believe in therapy as a whole. Some people don't believe in like inspecting one's life. Some people might see this and go, oh, Jonah Hill, you're so fucking privileged. Like, how could you have all these problems? Wow, your life's been amazing. And like, oh, now you're like coming out here and you think you can be like some sort of savior and help it. That is not what he's trying to do. He really does have like genuine intentions because this isn't going to like make him money. <laughs> You know what I mean? This is this wasn't like a huge cash grab. I do genuinely think that he wants to share what he learned. It, I think it makes sense. Um, it's good. It's not fun to watch, but it is informative. Not everything is supposed to be fun, right? So you guys can like and subscribe if you like to subscribe. I'm here every day. You can be here as much as you want. Hey, Jonah, why don't you subscribe, buddy? I said positive things. I love you. I do love you. I loved your last movie, mid '90s, and you're. I like most of the movies you've been in. You're a very good actor. Why don't you subscribe? And we'll have a talk. And I have a few questions about how you did a few shots in this movie. There's probably the best use of green screen that I've seen in a long time. And I watched Spider-Man Three again last night, or Spider-Man No Way Home, or whatever the most recent one, which I enjoyed. But I would say that this has probably better use of <laughs> green screen or more creative. Uh, that's a joke, by the way, sort of. O only sort of, though. Anyway, what I learned, which is, I've, I learned tons of things from this. This is what I should have just started with what I learned. But the thing, and I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but like, you know, you, when you go into a situation, don't prejudge it. That's very hard for me, as you probably noticed, as I'm a judgy person. <laughs> Thus the review show. But to like, that you always have the option of choosing the positive. You know, that's kind of up to you, and, and, and it is kind of a habitual thing. If you if you choose the positive enough, um, you might, like, this is my words, you know, kind of trick your brain into being that way. And I so often immediately prejudge and pick the negative that it has um, caused me probably more uh, distress than I need, right? So thank you, Jonah. Um, make a narrative movie next again. That would be my suggestion, because I really like mid '90s, and I think there's something. You're, I think you're a special filmmaker for real. So keep it up, dude. Keep it up. Bye. Have a wonderful Friday, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Um, what should I watch? Or review, I should say. Hmm.